Greetings and welcome to this week's edition of Smart Council for Lunch. I'm Suzanne Sayward, a partner at the Dedham, Massachusetts law firm of Samuel, Sayward, and Baylor, where we concentrate our practice in the areas of estate planning, elder law, estate and trust administration, and probate. So today's topic is the gift tax, which is a very misunderstood tax. And I was inspired to talk about this by a story I recently heard about George Clooney, who apparently in 2013 gave 14 of his closest friends each a suitcase filled with $1 million of cash. So when I heard that story, of course I was Lord and thought, wow, that is super generous. And why don't I have friends like that? Uh, but my second thought was, wow, I bet there was a big gift tax due on that, those gifts. So the gift tax is imposed when someone makes a gift to a person, which exceeds the amount that the law permits you to give for free. There's two aspects to the gift tax. The first is the annual exclusion amount, and the second is the lifetime exclusion amount. The annual exclusion amount changes from year to year um, and is the amount that each person can give without any gift tax consequences to as many people as he wishes. In 2013, the annual exclusion amount was $14,000. That means that George Clooney could have given $14,000 to 100 people and there would not have been any gift tax consequence. When you give a gift in excess of the annual exclusion amount, then you start to chip away at your lifetime exclusion amount. In 2013, the lifetime exclusion amount was $5,250,000. So when George Clooney made a gift of $1 million to his friend, he made an excess gift of $986,000. Now, if he had just made one gift or even five gifts, there would not have been any gift tax due because the total excess gift would have been below his lifetime exclusion amount of $5,250,000. However, when he made excess gifts of $986,000 to 14 people in one year, then he ex exceeded the amount of his lifetime exemption. So those 14 gifts meant that he had excess gifts of 13 million 804,000. That exceeded his lifetime exclusion by 8,554,000. And that's the amount that the gift tax would be payable on. The federal gift tax rate is extremely high. It's about 40, 000, it's about 40% rather once you are over the first million. So on those gifts, Clooney would have owed almost $3.4 million of gift tax. So much for generosity. Anyway, that's today's episode of Smart Council for Lunch. And if you have questions about gifting, estate planning, estate and trust administration that we can help you with, please don't hesitate to reach out.